the um, posterior part of the body, of the torso. So here, like we said, is going to be the trapezius muscle. So here's trapezius, here's deltoid. Okay, that's the shoulder. So here is trapezius, here's deltoid. If we look on the other side, here is going to be the scapula. So this is the spine of the scapula. Here's that medial border. So remember, the medial border, this is the rhomboid minor, which is smaller, and this larger one is going to be the rhomboid major. Good. This is the spine of the scapula. Above the spine of the scapula is supraspinatus muscle, and below it's going to be what? Infraspinatus muscle. Very good. Now, infraspinatus muscle, in fact, is only going to be all of these. Now, it looks like three different muscles, but they are, in fact, one muscle. We're going to go over that in a little while as to how to differentiate it between uh, these other two muscles and this one large here, large one there. Now, next, we have this one right here. It is that, it's what gives people those that nice V-shape to their body, okay? That's this right here, and this is going to be called the latissimus dorsi. So they, people oftentimes get these two confused because they've heard latissimus dorsi before and they've heard of trapezius muscle before. But try to remember, trapezius comes up and then goes up to the head. Latissimus dorsi is gonna be a bit more inferior. And it actually attaches to your humerus, okay? Uh, so this again is going to be latissimus dorsi. If you look, there's a muscle right here that runs directly superior to inferior. We also find it on this model over here. You can see it this right here. Okay. These are called the erector spinae muscles. Now, they're actually a group of three muscles that run up and down. We're only going to know them as their group. We don't have to know each of the individual muscles. So them as a group is going to be called the erector spinae muscle. To give you some background, this right here is trapezius. Here's latissimus dorsi. Here's deltoid. Rhomboid minor, rhomboid major. Does everybody get that? Okay. So, um, that takes care of the posterior side of the orange torso. Okay, um, We're going to be adding a few more. Actually, I'll go over this right now. Here's teres major. This is called teres minor. This is all infraspinatus and supraspinatus. My advice to you is because people get the infraspinatus wrong, because they oftentimes think it's teres major or teres minor, is always start from the inferior end. You start right here around where the axle is. You go teres major, teres minor, Infraspinatus, supraspinatus. So what's this one? Teres major, 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 teres minor, and infraspinatus, supraspinatus. One more time. Teres major, major, teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. Does everybody get that? Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So when you look at the arm, when we look at this arm here, we're going to notice exactly the same thing. Okay, that's why it helps translate. That's why if you know one, it makes your life a lot easier. So here's the spine of the scapula, right? Okay. So this is what? Major. Teres major. Teres minor. Infraspinatus. Everybody see how easy that is? If you do it in that order, it's very easy. If the sticker goes here, still say to yourself, teres major, teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus. It keeps you ordered. Okay? Perfect. Thank you.